Hello Christmas light installers and community. So today I'm going to show you how we do the flow of electric on large houses. This is a house we just did and I'm going to walk you through the steps so that we know that we don't plug in and something comes unplugged and then all of a sudden we have a hot nail sitting there uh, that could electrocute somebody or something like that. So let's get started. Before that, please go down and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to 500 before Christmas and I'd appreciate it very much. Okay, so the first thing that our roof guy does is he tries to find the electric. So on this house, we have electric right here, and we also have electric on this corner. I'm gonna, we use this electric here just because of that way we didn't have to run electric all the way along that porch, and we have wire exposed. So our electric is here right now, but for this video, I'm gonna make the electric come here because I wanna show you how we would flow this electric. So, most of the time, we only have this electric anyway. We don't even have that one. So that's why I'm going with this one here. So what we wanna do is, is we're gonna run a, start with a male right here. We're gonna run extension of cord up. We're gonna come grab this little section of gutter right here. And then we're gonna keep running that section up right here to a female. And we're going to do an inline male into this line that's going to go up here and there. From there, we're going to go up, and this is all going to be C9 socket. And then we're going to have a short extension cord that's going to run from this slot peak here to here. And we got to remember, um, I always tell my guys, think of it as water flowing. So the electric is going to be here. So I always start here and you're going to flow this way and you're going to flow down and you're going to come down into here. We want to make sure that if this comes unplugged, this is not a male that's sticking out um, that's hot. Um, for instance, if we took a male right here and this was a female on the end of here and that came unplugged, that's going to be a hot male. And that's a problem. That's an issue. So from there, that one's going to run from here. And that's all going to be one stretch coming here. The male is going to be right here in the peak. And it's going to have a female here. And it's going to have a female over here. It's going to have a short extension cord right here, which will be a female to male. This peak right here will be a female, which will tie into that short extension male. Then we come across here. We run one cord up to this peak right here, which would be a female to a male. Over, you can see the little jumper wire, and that way we fed both of those from one wire. Same thing coming out. We're going to want our extension cord it's coming across. Sometimes it's better to run it across the ridge cap so you can't see it, but we're using black cord, and you really can't see it anyway. So we just came from that gutter line, we hooked in power to there, and we hooked this front section. The biggest thing that we want to remember is if something comes unplugged, that it is not a hot male. Um, it will shock you. It can cause fire if it's hitting the, the gutter or something like that. So we always want to make sure that our males, when they come unplugged, that they're dead. And the way we do that is, is knowing where our power is when we first start. And um, that's how we're able to know. And that's why we always put our tester first thing when we get to the house. It's more designed so that we know that A, we have power, and B, we, have, uh, we know where the electric is. So if it's on one side of the house, we know we need to start, you know, all our males the way the house is going to flow that way there is no hot power um, sitting out there without a female on the end of it 
So, hope this video helps you out. This question came from Sam Franco. If you want to know how to hang Christmas lights on roofs, check out this playlist. And if you want to know how to hang a wreath on vinyl siding, check out this playlist right here. Thanks for watching and hope you have a Merry Christmas.